All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and hopefully everyone had a pretty good weekend. Cause I certainly did. And uh, thank you to everybody from Brazil. I didn't actually expect that one tweet to go like crazy viral. I mean, I think it's slowed down now because usually Twitter doesn't uh, leave your tweet up there for more than like two, three days, but. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying the thing. I'm enjoying the thing, so I just pinned it for a little bit. But I think, uh, you know, it's starting to slow down a bit, which is all right. You know, I'm grateful for the uh, support, you know, and the reward, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, people really love Yair Bolsonaro, man. So, yeah, he really is the Trump of Brazil. So it works for me. works for me. Of course, things are not doing so well in the markets. So before I actually get into both BUSDC and BNBC, and I'll actually leave a link to both of these so you can take a look. Actually, let me connect my wallet to this as well. Um, yeah, if you're living under a rock, I mean, the markets are getting killed right now. So in fact, what I'm actually doing, and we have the FOMC meeting this week, so everything is just going down. So I'm actually, yeah, see, Bitcoin's already below 24K. I already see all these Bitcoin influencers on Twitter, like Natalie Bruner or whatever her name is, Brunel, buying Bitcoin. That's psychotic. Right now, no one wants anything, all right, because we already know what the problem is, all right, the Fed and the money supply, all right. The Fed is removing money supply, surprisingly, so they're destroying dollars. That's why the U.S. dollar is up a lot, two and a half. This is a huge jump, like, this is, like, insane. All right, ten U.S. bond yields are going crazy, and like the ten-year yield is actually going to 3.26. So we gotta see what happens. All right, so that basically means capital is leaving the markets, which means everything's selling off. All right, so uh, I'm already seeing the effects on crypto. I'm already seeing the effects on all my minor projects and all the stuff. Right, you know, spheres down, royal pays down. Contracts are draining on all crops yield farmer uh, on all crops farmer projects, right? And uh, the only thing that's working is BNB miner, right? So I'm actually have my leg on my desk and I'm like 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 this because I'm just trying to relax because I just worked out. So it, it it's bad, it's bad, and um, I might. I might expand into stock market trading because I bought the $42 unusual whales, uh, you know, plan. And I'm actually going to be doing my first trades today, which is going short. So I found two really good trades. In fact, it's our, in fact the insiders who bought those two trades on Thursday and Friday, they're actually up 100, 200% now. Right? And they're just, make, they're just making crazy money right now. So it, it, it's like, yeah, this thing works. <laughs> So, which is good, because, A, I need the money, and then, two, you know, we, we're going to need content, because right now, nobody wants cryptocurrencies. I mean, just look. Just look. Why are you going to, why are you buying into this? This is insane. All right. There was actually a nice guy on Twitter I was talking about. I, I recognize your picture, but I forgot your name, unfortunately. But, you know, I think you know who you're talking, uh, who I'm referring to. Yeah. He said he bought the dip, and now he kind of regrets it. I mean, that's why you want to do small bets, because when you make a mistake, it's like, Oh, all right. Well, no Big Mac for me today, right? It's not a big deal, right? It's th it sucks, but at least you didn't put all your eggs in one basket. Celsius is down. Um, and, of course, Luna. Everything's just dying right now. So it's like, you know what? So I'm just going to the dollars and shorting the market, right? And then I'm going to have to adjust, like, probably tomorrow, today, and on Wednesday especially because the, the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates 50 to 75 basis points and then we're just going to see what happens from there. I'm, I'm, I'm actually probably going to buy straddles, calls and puts, but more likely calls, right? Because right, I know there has to be a recovery at some point and then after that we'll have to see if we're, you know, going straight to bear market territory. So, uh, so yeah, so that, so again, no matter how good the crypto project that we cover is, it's going to be directly affected by all this, you know, stupid shit. So it, it just just keep that in mind. All right. So there's not much to say about BUSD seed, right? Because uh, and BNB seed. Uh, at first I thought could this be a scam, a rug pull? But you know th these projects already seem to be quite live. June six successful launch, right? Um, you know I'm not I'm not going to link to the poly Polygon because right now Polygon is where's Polygon at? 
42 cents. Yeah, Jesus, look at this. Minus 35% within seven days. This is, this is just brutal. This is just brutal. All right, Bitcoin is definitely going to 21K and below because people know that. I need someone to fact check me on this, but Michael Saylor apparently bought Bitcoin at like $21,000 and he leveraged it. So he gets margin called when Bitcoin crashes to twenty one thousand dollars now the thing is i don't see through my uh i'll tell you what it is it's unusual whales.com i haven't seen anything that indicates that uh the smart money on wall street are shorting his stock and buying large put options and short positions on micro strategy but um if that's actually true they bought on le uh, on margin then that means michael saylor is about to lose like you know he might go bankrupt that's the uh, that's what i'm thinking so let me actually see MSTR stock. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If pre market's gonna show up here yet. Pre market 7:33 a.m. Yeah, he is down 20. Oh shit! I should actually short micro strategy. Yeah, I'm gonna actually buy puts on micro strategy. Yeah, I'm gonna go short on micro strategy. I might actually go live today later too. I don't know. Okay, I actually have to tweak this out. Michael Saylor's micro strategy is down 25% in pre market trading. I guess it's true that he did indeed buy Bitcoin BTC at huge leverage and might go bankrupt target is 21k BTC but going much lower than that I'll be small short positions on on him uh, okay so I have to actually write that all right, yeah, I'm I actually I was going to short Coinbase because I want to short Bitcoin, right, through my stock account, but micro, uh, this is much better. And on top of that, we don't actually like Michael Saylor in this channel because he did say, he did a Do Kwan. I didn't know who Do Kwan was at the, uh, uh, in the past, but remember when I tweeted out, go F yourself, Michael Saylor, when he said, Bitcoin should be a commodity, but Ethereum and proof of stake should be uh, securities. He threw us under a bus. So this is karma for being a piece of shit, all right? So we'll take this company away. All right. So anyway, um, yeah, I know we were, we were supposed to talk about this, but all the other stuff is actually more important than actually the project itself. I know some some newcomers don't like that, but that's why you lose money and we make money, all right? Even when the markets go down. So you know, don't like it? All right. Well, go after yourself. Go so go subscribe to a scam YouTube channel. Right, who's just gonna tell you what you want to hear and then promote a scam project and you lose all your money and then uh, hopefully you remember, hey, who's that asshole that that Chinese guy that like talked shit and was like a brutally honest a hole? But oh yeah, it's that Johnson Chan guy. Yeah, what's his channel again? Yeah, so you'll be back after you lose all your money. So anyway, uh, like I said, there's not much to say. The only thing that really matters is. Can this contract sustain itself or the overall market factors, which we literally just spent this whole video on? And is it a rug pull? Now, because these two projects are already present, BNB Seed and Matic Seed, and they did not rug pull, I think it should be okay. But again, right now, you still want to be careful because right now, everyone's losing money. All right, Everyone's losing money except people who are shorting. That's why I'm going short today. All right? It's just a matter of how much money can I pull out today before everyone else, you know, who's shorting also gets their, you know, get their money. Especially, especially this. I did not, I was like, this should be going down. I did the analysis yesterday. It's like, why didn't this go down on Friday, right? But now that I see this, it's like, okay, it's time to short Michael Saylor, right? This is payback for what he did to us non-Bitcoin people, right? This is why I don't like Bitcoin maxis or XRP maxis or anyone who's a maxi. If you are a maxi, you are actually an asshole, all right? So, and this is this is exactly why. Look, if your coin is so good, why are you going down along with everyone else, 
right? Okay, you know who the you know who the real power is? It's the central banks. It's the Federal Reserve, right? Cryptocurrencies are gonna free humanity, right? Yeah. In what in what effing world? All right. And trust me, I love crypto. All right. The reason why I'm a free man is because of crypto. But I also can see reality, and it's a shame because what I'm seeing is not just the failure of crypto, but the pow awesome power of the of really government. All right. Yeah, the American government really. Just the idea of west of, of the government and central banking. They just have too much power. <sighs> so I don't know how the hell we're gonna get out of this. So for now, we're just gonna make money short the freaking market temporarily because I'm using a tool, right? Because I'm gonna day trade it today. I might hold it all. I might hold it till tomorrow, or God forbid, I see the, the unusual whale alert shows the smart money is actually staying in position despite this coming Wednesday. So it's definitely all short term day swing trading, right? We're definitely not. I'm definitely not holding anything. I'm just going to get in, get my couple thousand percent or whatever I might make, a couple hundred percent ideally, and then get out. All right. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's only 11 minutes, 20 seconds, because if this gets too long, I'm going to cut this video off, rename it, like market the bear market thing. Um, but this will be short. So, okay. So, right off the bat, uh, I think sustainability could be an issue, but on the other hand, greedy people might want to just put more money in, so that's the idea. Uh, plan 1 is forever, 2.5%. This is for BUSD. Plan 2 is 3% for 180 days, right? You get 540%. So, right off the bat, this, may, this is a yield staker. So, it's not a minor, but it's a yield staker. So, there is no dilution, right? Because the sustainability quote unquote is based on you know these plans just expiring now the forever plan supposedly is 10,000 days which is essentially forever I guess right I have 3.5 percent daily uh, for 80 days up to 280 percent so this already pays way more than uh, BUSD yield farmer from crops farmer team but again the problem is sustainability is going to be an issue and of course Right now, markets are just draining right now, so this is going to have a negative impact directly on uh, projects because people don't want to invest in new projects. They actually want to pull out money, right? You know, I've been looking at BUSD Yield Farmer, and that contract just does nothing but drain. No, Barely any money is coming in. Everyone's just draining. So if we don't get relief this coming Wednesday after the uh, Jerome Powell raises interest rates or whatever, the Fed, and the market doesn't, uh, you know, go up, I mean, we, we're, we're going to have a real problem. All of us are going to have to put on our McDonald's hats and then go work at McDonald's, all right? In my case, I'm going to have to move back with my parents, you know, maybe get the stupid uh, thing, which is starting to, like, hurt Justin Bieber and a lot of people, and I take my chances. I mean, chances are I'd rather be homeless, believe it or not, and then I'd rather just do that, you know, rather than live with my parents. But, yeah, it's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad. I mean, I'll be okay for a couple of months, but if the stock thing doesn't work, you know, then I'm, you know, let's see, BNB miner will not be enough because BNB is down. Uh, the crops farmer projects are have been draining, but they'll probably still be around. It's it's going to be pretty rough. It's going to be pretty rough. Uh, but yeah. Well, with that being said, I mean, I don't generally see any problems with this project aside from sustainability, especially in right now, because right now people are just, like, losing it. And they don't show you the contract size, which I don't like personally, but I can kind of understand why they do it, because it's like a uh, rocket science zone. Right? And that's another reason why I'm getting a little nervous, because, you know, is this from the rocket science people? You know, so you have to click the contract. So, for example, in BNB Seed, you click the contract, and you can actually see what's inside, and then click transactions, and then of course see what people are doing, invest and withdraw. It looks pretty healthy from where I'm looking, right? But you have to manually track uh, track this, the contract uh, balance that way. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So I got a lot of work to do. So I went over the markets for you very quickly. I went over uh, the 
this BUSD seed crew. Um, I mean, it looks okay, but again, there's no rush to uh, jump in because of uh, it's. Not, there's no minor dilution, so you you, know, you could wait it out, make sure it's not a rug pull. Remember, Rocket Side Zone did not rug pull until like 26, 27 days later. So this could be a rug pull as well, but you just don't know. That's the risk. Uh, me personally, there's no point in investing in any new projects right now. I am not investing in any new projects except maybe BNB miners, but that would mean buying Binance coin. And right now, I do not want crypto. Right now, I want to dump and short crypto. All right, I want dollars. All right, I'll readjust this Wednesday when I see how the markets react to Jerome Powell's. Of yeah, this is just bad. We're in bear market territory. There's no way we're going back up. There's we're, there's no way. This like yeah, we're we're now below the. Uh, what is it, 3825.80 or 38.35? I forgot that level that Greg Manorino put in, but we're I know we're definitely below, way below that, so it doesn't matter. All right, and we close below that, yeah, we're we're, we're screwed. <laughs> we're we're screwed. All right, we went over a lot. All right, um, so I don't know. We just gotta cover a lot of ground. So I'll see you next video. It's gonna be. Uh, what was the next project? Oh yeah, there's an Ethereum auto miner. Yeah, now, now that Ethereum has crashed so much, the gas fees are probably reasonable now. So now people are making miners on Ethereum. But again, I, I personally don't want crypto right now. I just want to short and then just wait until I see a bottom. Because right now, all I see all I see is a black hole. Right now, crypto is going into a black hole along with everything else. Okay, everything's a black hole. Look, MicroStrategy is getting killed right now. Okay, I'm not trading against the flow. I'm going to actually trade with the flow and then get my money. All right, I'm going to get my money. See you next video. Like, subscribe, share this video around. I know we rambled a lot. Thank you again to all the, all the old and new people uh, watching this channel. I rely on you to spread the word around so we keep growing because at this point, yeah, I don't think there's not going to there's not going to be a lot left after all of this. All right, you know, see, yeah, that's why, you know, like all these Bitcoin crypto currency influencers they're about to get slaughtered they are getting slaughtered so that's just how it goes it's just how it goes and they have millions of people and uh and i don't all right but i'm the one that's helping people actually not lose as much money and even making money it's just i, I really just sometimes hate like this space like just human hu the human the like people value lies and being told what they want to hear rather than the truth and then they want to get mad at me all right, and I can see it through the dislikes sometimes on my uh, YouTube videos. You can't see it, which is good. Uh, but I still find it annoying. I just don't like it when people hate the truth and want lies and being told what they want to hear because you always lose money like that. It's, it's, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Oh, well. What are you going to do? See you next video. Thanks.